an actor. I have been doing this for 37 years and I love every minute of it. I've been doing sci-fi for, oof, I don't know how long, uh, since in the days of, um, oh my goodness, uh, Auto Man, uh, <laughs> so he goes back a long way. Let's just, needless to say, Star Trek, Babylon 5, Sliders, Armageddon, pick one. <laughs> I've been there, but I, I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it. I enjoy the fans a lot. How did I get started in acting? Well, that's a very interesting question. I was a cop. Yeah, I was a cop, and I uh, studied acting to be a better cop because I was undercover for two years. And uh, I can't tell you what I did because I just can't do that, but I studied it, and I caught a bug that I, I didn't quite recognize at the time, but I knew that I wanted to find out more about it. A good bug, yeah. And I went to the sheriff and I told him that and I wanted to do this. <clears throat> he looked at me and he said, I think you're crazy. I said, that's probably true. He said, yeah, well, it is because that's why I hired you. He said, he said, go do a good job. I did and I've been at it ever since and I love every minute of it. Most people say, I went to college, I went to acting school, I did this, I did that. No, I retired out of the Navy, became a cop, studied acting, undercover, and then became an actor. So, but I'm hoping that everybody will, you know, come down and you know, come up and say hello. Yes. You know, there's a, there's a plethora of people that are here this weekend, and you know, and they're all wonderful. They're just wonderful, wonderful. I work with many of them, as a matter of fact. But uh, really, it's just a matter of just getting in your car, come down, come in, say hello, see something you like get it. You see something you don't like, don't get it. Save up for it, don't get it. Yeah, save up for it. You know, it's, uh, we're all here for the same, same reason. I, the, the biggest thing for me is just the people that I meet. That's what makes it special. This is only my sixth time in 37 years I've ever done one of these. Yeah, this is my, only my sixth. I've been kind of a hobbit. I stay off in my little, in my little world and, and don't come out. And then somebody said, no, well, it's not adventures. I have a lot of adventures, but they said, have you ever thought about this? And I, actually, I haven't. So, why did you come out for this one? Well, this one, I, I have friends here, and I've done a couple down here, and I like the NASA. It's because I'm a big fan of NASA. Uh -huh. I did Armageddon. We worked at NASA, obviously, here, and I stay closely involved in NASA all the time because if people think about it, the, the very... The very technology that you're shooting with right now, the very technology that you have in your pocket every day, called your cell phone, the GPS that you get to places with, the medicines that you take are all engineered by NASA. And science fiction, come on. We're making science fiction, science fact, and it's being done right now. We're going to send something to Mars. It's called Orion. It's going there. So, you know, I was at the Orion launch. Really? Yes, I was. And it was one of the most spectacular moments you can ever imagine. All kids should take a moment. Go, go to the, you know, go to the NASA website. Look at it. You'd be amazed what you'll see. You'll see everything that you see in space and science fiction, except it's for real.